Welcome back, dear listeners. This is Billy Ruth Hopkins Futurici with KCIW 100.7 on your FM dial, right here in beautiful downtown Brookings, where almost every day is a perfect day and we can always choose to say yes. Life is indeed very, very good. I have invited a few more characters to interview here in the studio. Let's meet them now. I'm Wisteria, you know, and my mom always says that cat has a way about him. Or is it her? No one can really tell if it's a him or a her, but it does have a way about it. What kind of a way do you mean, Wisteria? Or are you Etheria now? No, I'm Wisteria now, dear. Yes. Well, Etheria speaks every language that was ever written, as well as some unwritten ones, too. Well, no one is really sure at that it's absolutely true, but that's what we always say. Meow! It's about time! It's about time! Casi no puedo creer! Meow! No me han presentado ya, pues me llamo Ethergis. Y he visto tanta manera de cosas desde el principio del universo! Meow! Yes, I have seen all manner of hate and prejudice since the beginning of time itself throughout the universe, and it is precisely for that reason that Angela and I have to rescue Angelita and bring her back to Shavano. Hmm. Were it not for our heroic efforts, Earth would surely have been destroyed in a solar tsunami way before 4332. As it was, of course... Uh, 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 wait, stop right there, Thurgis. No more spoiler alerts. Yeah. You can be a real buzzkill, Billy. In The Master and Margarita, the cat is seen prowling the moonlit streets of Moscow in 1930 before flying across the full moon with Margarita. I swear it's true. Okay, Wisteria, I know you think that's true, it, it, but it's a book. And just what does that book have to do with our story of Angelita? Or for Angela and Ethergis, for that matter. Well, isn't that obvious, Billy Ruth? You should know that. Angela, I, I see you're coming into the studio here. Angela, come on in, come on in. It's not obvious at all. You should have known that. Uh, oh, I got a butt in here. Angela has to butt in. It's not obvious at all. It's not obvious at all, especially to the listeners. I remember now, I think you were a freshman when I helped you with that paper about Big Pharma centuries ago. You didn't even know what Big Pharma was. Oh, my poor ba- 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 stars, Mrs. Furubichi, you're getting off on a tangent now. Oh, my poor stars, you two stop build bullying each other like a bunch of junior high school students and stop being so linguistically arrogant. And let's just get on with our story. In Spanish, that phrase that you should have known is conditional present perfect. Hubiera conocido, not should have known. Hubiera conocido, using the helper verb, haber. Well, like I said, you two, bullying each other like with your linguistically arrogant stuff. Well, may I continue here, ladies? Who? Oh, of course, Wisteria. Yes, sorry. So, tell us what Margarita was doing flying over the moon, and what does that have to do with our story? It is a literary device like Pop God and Mother Athandra are literary devices. They act as allegorical mirrors to what's going on in the United States and, and when the BAMs took over. Are you talking about Big Pharma? No, 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 Billy Ruth. It's the BAMs. P-B-A-M-S. The P is silent. Bureaucratic, power-hungry, autocratic, misogynists. That's who. They hated everything and everybody different from them. Systematically canceling culture, banning books, rewriting history in their own image and like that. Yes, those were frightening days back in the... Back in the, gosh, what was it, 19? Hmm, no, it was 20, 23. May have started way before that, too. But it's sort of like the Master and Margarita. 
They were life-threatening days in Moscow in the 30s in those days, too, when Stalin banned everything criticizing the state. The Master Margarita was only published after Bulgakov died, and in the book, the Master burns his manuscript rather than see it suppressed by the state. Of course, everyone knows true manuscripts can never really burn, and I think it even survived the final destruction of Earth in 4332. Fascinating, fascinating, Wisteria. It's true, it's true. All I can say now is that I'm Etheria, and I know my daughter, Angela, had to climb up Mount Shivano three times. Once she did it when she was 14, then again when she was 16, and the last time just before she graduated from high school. She just had to go see if Grandma Gaga's stories and dreams were all true. She felt as if it was her mission to rescue Angelita and get her back to Mount Shivano. I still don't know whether she was really in outer space or just spaced out. You know, kids, but I sure worried about her, and I blamed Mom, Grandma Gaga, for filling her head with all those stories. Oh, yeah, wisteria legends, history, herstory, dreams. It's all quite remarkable, isn't it? Especially since Angela might also be wisteria. Mrs. Furuichi, spoiler alert! Oh, sorry, Angela, you're right. I better not tell our listeners absolutely everything about every character right now, but I have to say that I find it irritatingly ironic that Wisteria was getting her Ph.D. in the history of consciousness from UCSC in 1996. Then she goes and falls in love with this gorgeous Marine at the Catalyst, and the guy never makes it back from Afghanistan, and she ends up cleaning motel rooms in Crestone, just reading Russian novels. Oh, may maybe I shouldn't have said that either. That's kind of a spoiler alert, too, isn't it? Well... And it was all going pretty well for them And when he got back from Afghanistan, except for the PTSD, and he was in constant pain, and he had survivor's guilt about losing his translator, Samir, and, oh, that haunted him unrelentlessly, leading to verbal and physical abuse. It was a bad situation for everyone. They sought out one of the many despicable doctors dispensing way too much oxy for the healing and survival of the American soul. Billy Ruth? That's just a story, and it's not true at all. That story probably came from Mrs. Clarissa Dalloway, Angela's English literature teacher. She's always the one who starts stories that, like saying that Senor O'Neill and I were killed in a car accident. Well, Mrs. Furuichi, I better jump in here. That was just one of my nightmares. They didn't really die. <sighs> We can't have our listeners thinking Mom and Senor Ruel really died. Spoiler alert, Angela. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll keep quiet now. Well, as I was saying, so much documentation was lost after the solar tsunami, and many records are not historically accurate. Trust me. I know what really happened. I was his wife. Sal never made it back from Afghanistan, but somehow Zephyr did, and we took little Angela and Zirko back to Crestone, where through the pure love and power of Mom's nursing us all back to wholeness, everything turned out just fine until she started disappearing. Well, Zirko and Angela started thinking that Grandma Gaga's dreams were all true. And so her stories and her crazy dreams and all those UFO things about soldiers flying into V formation and getting their weapons transformed into their wings, all those wild stories, that was just too much for kids. I wasn't exactly fond of them, but at least the kids grew up like twin flames, scrapping, making up, scrapping again, giggling, running. Well, maybe not too much running since Zirko did have that one short leg due to the water poisoned by the Taliban during the first trimester of Zephyr's pregnancy. Well, Wisteria, we could go on and on, but I would also like to ca carry on with my interviews here, and let's just introduce another character. I would like to introduce Dr. Guille de la Luz Antigua y Lightwing, 
who just came into the studio. Here you are. Here, sit down and have a seat with us. Are you doing well these days, Dr. Lightwing? Por supuesto, but of course, darling. I should tell you that before I married Commander Adlusha Lightwing, my juicy essay seminars in the History of Consciousness Department were quite popular in the 70s. You may not know, but I conceived and initiated the entire program myself. It was one of the most exciting Earth times in history for eager young minds, especially when the surf was up and the traffic was down in Santa Cruz. Ah, I was also a celebrated performer in Ruth Solomon's Summer Dance Institute in 1978. Oh my gosh, is that a fact? I myself danced with her in those days. Perhaps you were in some of my classes. Oh, Billy, darling, I doubt it. I don't remember, Joe. Well, this is not about me, Dr. Lightwing, so do go on with your story. Por supuesto, darling. I met and married Commander Elusha Lightwing a few centuries after Earth's final destruction in the solar tsunami of 4332. We worked tirelessly in the effort to reweave the fabric of the universe, co-founding UHC, University of Higher Consciousness, up there in Pop God's dark matter domain. Oh, Dr. Lightwing, so that was you? Por supuesto, Pop. He and Captain Athandra were responsible for transporting all those shards and sharp scattered slivers of orbs to the planet of Aetherius where they settled in the forest as very caretakers of the complete history of the universal collective consciousness. Angela and Athurgis might never have found and rescued Angelita and Zerko from the clutches of the evil, unenlightened lizard Venusians had it not been for them. Oh, right, yeah, I know a few of those unenlightened lizard Venusians right here in the 21st century, but hmm, enough of my editorializing. We still have quite a few characters to meet in these wild outer space adventures of Angela and a third just the multilingual cat. So let's get right back to it. This next character is really exciting. I somehow managed to get in touch with him. He's the famous ancient samurai warrior Tsubasa. To be with us today. He said he would come, that is. Let's hope he does. Oh, I think I hear him coming into the studio right now. <gasps> so strap in. He's quite the character, to be sure. Hajimashite, Toba-san. Tozo, Billy-san. Genki desu. Genki desu ka? Hai, genki desu. Tomo arigato, anata mo? Hai, boku wa tottemo genki desu. Good to hear that you're feeling tip-top, Tsubasa. But I can't help noticing that you have only one wing. It's the left wing, at that. What on earth happened? It not happened Earth, Billy-san. It happened when Ethurgis me kill. What? Ethurgis killed you? Whatever for? When did this happen? Oh, many century past. We good Tomodachi fight with Musashi, save many village rice fields together. Wow, well, if you were such good Tomodachi, such good friends, then why would a third just kill you? Hmm, hmm, Feudal Japan friendship complex issue. Boku wa no can explain. Very too complicated. Hmm. Well, why don't you just try? Bakataringa, you woman, no understand. I no talk. Gomena sai deshta tsubasa sumi masen deshta moshi waki tsumi masen deshta. I'm so sorry if I offended you. 
but I can see that subject is off the table. Okay, well, I guess they'll have to find out why Ethurgis would have killed you. A feudal relationship, Japan. Very complicated, very complex. Okay, well, I'm just glad to see that you survived as an angel, at least. Uh, but but how, how are you, what are you up to now? I fly on back, Lord Ethereus, a very trusted Simeon Galaxy Chief Unification Negotiator for Planet of Ethereus. Ride with Lord Ethereus, solve disputes, keep peace, no more kill. Oh, wow, that sounds like a very important position, Tsubasa. We could all use someone like you right now. So tell us, Tsubasa, how did you end up on Ethereus and with just one wing? Hmm, hmm, long story. After Ethereus me kill, I find self in big darkness. Feel body stretch. See long red akaito. Thread. Grab hold tight. Body rip through dark sky. Land on terrible hot sand. I think hell. Hell? You mean really hell? You thought you were in hell? Oh no, I no believe hell, Bilisan. Demo, I feel burning. Sink hot sand. I look up. See strange sight. What do you mean? You, you looked up and saw a strange sight. What did you see? Three suns shine almost dark. Other two reflect on strange beast from myth. Unicorn fly down. Beautiful color spots. Golden wings. But head is man. Warrior with beard. Color helmet. Shine bright in sun. Almost me blind. So bright. I say where I am. He say, You fall great desert. Desolation and fear. You no safe here. Me get up on back. We fly away. Oh, wow. Then what happened? Then me tell him many lifetime on earth. In Japan, I samurai warrior with Musashi. Meet Ethurgis, good Tomodachi. Oh, well, good. Ethurgis may have been a good friend, but, but then you told me you killed him. Why did you kill him? I already told you, Bilisan. Ethurgis, my good friend, but we sometime play too rough. Like crazy kabuki act. A third just me jump. Blade slice neck by accident. <gasps> oh, my stars. That's terrible, Tomodachi. That's terrible. You're not a good Tomodachi, Tsubasa. Oh, no, not so bad, Billy-san. I die quick that time. Next time, maybe not so lucky. Next time? What do you mean, next time? Oh, next time, Earth. Life. I theoretical physicist, calculate accurate formula, theory of everything, mochi wrong. Work based on Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, Michio Kaku. Take me long time do that. Oh, I guess so. That's very impressive, Tsubasa. So then you ended up on a theorist, right? Hmm, hmm. This good story, Billy san. Ethereus, tell me legend of Angelita and Shavano. We try rescue Angelita. I see her. I fall flat in love with Angelita. I steru, I steru. Oh, but she ever true heart to Shavano. So sad for me. How you say, unrequited love. Uh, no, uh, that's unrequited love, Tsubasa. It's pronounced unrequited. You and Grandma Gaga always slaughtering the English language, but in all the stories of tragic unrequited love, 
You made the ultimate sacrifice to her too, didn't you? Mochiron, Mochiron, of course, of course. How could not? Anhalita, no have left wing, lost in wormhole. I lost right wing, same wormhole. So me give left wing only natural. She need go back Crestone when Angela and Athurgis come Aetherius. That true love, Bilisan, that true love. Oh, true love indeed, Subasa. These acts of true love and sacrifice. Oh, and now look, wait, who do I see coming in? Zerko, there's another, another character we need to interview. It looks like Zerko the tailless, Venusian lizard. He's Earth Zerko's mirror image. Greeting, Zerko. Welcome to KCIW 100.7 FM right here in beautiful downtown Brookings. Nice to have you here. The, 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 thank you, the, the, thank you, Billy Ruth, having me. My story, one of perseverance and oh, 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 overcoming great disability and crushing pr- 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 prejudice from my own species, my egg hat. Hatched in labyrinth underneath the great g- sa- sa- sand desert of desolation and fear on the d- 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 dark side of the planet, Ethereus. When my, my, my mother, Z- Z- Zephra, was pregnant with me, we w- were still li- li- living on Venus, but surface waters had become po- po- poisoned by hot, hot nuclear solar winds, so everyone d- d- dug into their underground caves. Zephyr developed cl- 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 claustrophobia and v- ventured up to the surface to find fr- fr- fresh water, but huh, huh, what she actually found were po- po- pools of contaminated water. I can still hear her cries as my egg in her belly felt the piercing hot po- po- poison water as it seeped into my fetus. Zerko, that is a traumatic story. You're still scarred, aren't you? Indeed. Scars that I feel to this very d- d- day and after so many years of dysfunctional li- li- living my unenlightened Venusian lizard species brothers came to believe a false mi- mi- mythology that gravity would kill us all, so when their escape craft skidded across the great sand, du, sand, sand, sand desert of de, 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 desolation and fear of the planet of Aetherius, they quickly de, de, dug into underground c- caves, forming a ma- ma- massive complex of labyrinths, never to emerge into the light again. Worst of all, hateful b- bigotry built up against my mother, Zephra, and Grandmother Zerka and my myself, disabled, with no t- t- tail and this one short leg, we were b- bullied into a homeless existence in hot labyrinth sands. My mother eventually d- died, but Grandmother Zerka was too 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 str- strong to give up. She took care of me until we f- finally discovered a fresh water source of the three phase fountains that sprung forth as. Three magnificent oases hidden in the impassable great d- d- dunes on the south east side of the planet. Grandmother Zerka s- s- saved me just before she d- d- died. Oh, yes. Oh, Circle. I've heard of those lost oases on Aetherius. Well, after so much tragedy for a frail young Venusian lizard like yourself, I wonder what's going to happen next. If 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 I were in the business of hoping, I might be tempted to ho- ho- hope I meet Angela and Athurgis, and they could rescue me and even sh- sh- show the others the way to a path of healing, ho- wholeness, and l- love. Well, I think that's the whole point of this whole story, Zirko. It is the way of Athurgis, after all. I might even suggest that somehow Angela and Athurgis... We'll build a bridge across the centuries, leading us all to a newly rewoven Earth. 
Well, Billy Ruth, I, 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 I also tried, but without much success to convince my Venusian lizard peers that sunlight and gravity would not kill them. They would just attack us even more. When I thought we were goners, who should I see flying out of the golden pink cloud but the flying unicorn Aetherius and his trusty negotiator Tsubasa? Oh, yeah. I there. I remember. Yes, Tsubasa, you were there. Aetherius and Tsubasa swept down and pulled us up onto his back on that magnificent flying creature, and we all flew over to the safety of his rainbow island in the middle of the great sea of optimism and trust on the other side of the planet. At last we were safe, and all the forest fairies fluttered their precious wings over us, and they fed us and gave us fresh, clean water from the transformational springs of the lost oasis until we were finally able to breathe again. And I still know that I can breathe in the fresh air of gravity. Oh, Zirko, that's amazing. This is an intricately layered tale. This outer space adventure is just getting better and better. We'll be happy to know the outcome, so all you listeners out there, stay tuned to KCIW 100.7 on your FM dial. See you right here in beautiful downtown Brookings, Oregon, next time. But for now, this is Billy Ruth Hopkins Furuichi saying, keep calm and carry on with love in your heart. And remember to be the light of the world. Even if you seem to be wandering through some desert, know that what you are doing is of supreme importance. And you can truly be the change you want to see. You have the power of choice to make loving, compassionate, transformational decisions in this lifetime. Be sure and catch us on podcast at www.kciw.org forward slash A-N-G-E-L-I-T-A-S dash wings. We're going to sign off now. Hope to see you next time. Meanwhile, take a listen to David Blink's new release, Así Comienza. You have been listening to KCIW 100.7 FM on your dial right here in beautiful downtown Brookings, where almost every day is a perfect day like today. Go out there and take a walk. We've got beaches and trails all over the place. (laughs) 